Hey guys, Alex Sanchez here from OpenSource.com, joined here with Jen. Uh, we're running through our weekly top five of some of our uh, best hand-picked articles from the site. Um, so Jen, what do we have to start us off? All right, so at number five this week, we talk about Conqueror. It's a file management program on Linux, and David Both, our resident Linux expert, talks about how he just loves this file manager. Um, he says it's versatile, powerful, and also is a good web browser. So you can find out more about that on site. It's definitely his favorite. You talked about it a lot, and uh, there was lots of discussion about some other ones that uh, you can try in the comments section. So like Jen said, be sure to check that out. Um, next up, we've got a uh, great poll on which browser you use, uh, which has generated some lively discussion in the comments section yep. uh, and a little bit of debate um, between some of our users. Uh, it's got almost 700 votes already, um, so be sure to check that one out and cast your vote and let us know if uh, your favorite is not on there. All right, at number three, we talk about uh, digitizing VHS tapes. So if you remember the days of VHS, you know, I recall birthdays and holidays, my dad out with this big honking tripod and camera. Um, so lots of great memories captured um, back in the day. But if you want to watch them today, um, the best thing you can do is convert those into an MP4. And to do that on Linux, you can read Don Watkins' tutorial um, about how to convert those. It's a, it's a good little write-up. Definitely. I got lots of uh, reruns that I recorded that I can now finally <laughs> convert to MP4. <laughs> uh, next up, we got an exciting update from uh, the Rust programming language. Um, they recently switched to a six-week release cycle, um, and we got a great article from someone involved with the project about why they decided to do that um, and why other organizations might want to check out or consider doing that for their projects. Yeah, I know it can be a tough thing to commit to, to pledge to, um, but Rust seems to be pretty excited about um, doing that for their for the programming language. A lot of discussion about it for sure. All right, and at number one in our top five this week, we have a submission to our My Linux story. It's called My Dad, Linux, and Me. And Lee Bryan writes to us about her experience getting started with Linux many years ago, what prompted her to make the switch, and why she still loves Linux today. Um, so you can also submit your Linux story to our My Linux Story series. I'd love to see it. We're having some um, submissions roll in. We have a lot of people interested in just sharing why they get started in Linux and what they love about it. Um, and our readers really like to kind of hear these personal stories about Linux. Interesting side note about that one. Uh, it actually has almost 100 comments, which is crazy. It's so for crazy. Site. That's a lot for us. Lots of people jumping in and sharing their stories. And we'd love yep. to hear yours too. So. Yep. Um, definitely be sure to check that out. Um, anyway, coming up uh, on the horizon for us, we've got an open government and open data series. Uh, it starts June 8th on this Monday. Um, so be sure to check that out. Um, we've also got a speaker series from Dev Nation and OzCon. Uh, so you can get a little sneak preview of some of the people that are speaking at those events, whether you can make it or not, and uh, yep. see, see what you're missing. Um, <laughs> In addition to that, we've got a summer reading list uh, for some open source books, so keep an eye out for that, and an open source and science series. So lots of great stuff, so be sure to check us out this summer. Keep an eye on us. Yep, stay in touch. And that's it for our top five this week, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.